Happy Wednesday. Welcome back, everyone. I'm meteorologist Robert Sir with a check of your forecast. And, you know, we're going to look first at where we are for the month of March, even though we're just a few days in. We're already running a precipitation deficit. Now, what these totals don't indicate is everything that's fallen since midnight. So we'll add to these numbers and hopefully eat away at the deficit that we have. And more rain is looking likely over the next five days. Weather Prediction Center saying across the entire metro here, a half inch to an inch or more is looking likely. And most of that is with our storm system that will be here Friday and Saturday. And even six to ten days out across the metro, there is some confidence in above average precipitation. So it definitely looks like this active pattern is going to continue. Now, in the short term, we're going to see that shower activity slowly coming to an end for both Louisville and Shelbyville. So by this evening, basically just clouds left over. Here's our storm system continuing to pull that slug of moisture away from the area ever so slowly, sort of really falling apart as it does so. By Thursday, we're, we're left with just plenty of clouds around before more rain building back across the Ozarks will move in our direction uh, just in time for the weekend. There's that shield of precipitation slowly moving away. But notice even as we get into the late morning, early afternoon, still a couple of leftover sprinkles, some patchy fog, some drizzle, some mist, just a real annoying day where even by this evening, you may still have to use your windshield wipers at times. But by tomorrow morning, things really start to quiet out, which is certainly good news. So we're going to call it 60 today, cooler than we have been, but still slightly above average with those morning showers transitioning to more of a patchy fog and drizzle type event for the second half of the day across the entire metro, basically in the 60s overall. And then tonight we'll have temperatures in the upper 40s still remaining above average. Here's our Friday system making its way toward the area, kind of two waves of rainfall. We get our first system bringing us the rain on Friday. Then Friday night, we might get a break before a second system moves in here for Saturday and brings us yet another slug of rainfall. And you can see that here in the extended forecast. Make sure Saturday night as you go to bed, you turn your clocks ahead by an hour for daylight saving time. And heading into next week, we finally start to dry out and temperatures remaining just slightly above average.